Um, after all, data shows that Bitcoin drop below the $27,000 level um, has made most investors uh, fearful for the first time this month. Uh, uh, the fear and greed index is an indicator that tells us about a general sentiment among uh, investors uh, in the Bitcoin and broader cryptocurrency uh, market. Uh, alternative created the metric, uh, and according to the website, uh, it's based on these factors, volatility, um, trading volume, social media sentiment, um, market cap dominance, and Google Trends data. Uh, the indicator uses a numeric scale from 0 to 100 uh, to represent the sentiment. Um, when the index has a value greater than 54, it means that the average investor is greedy right now. While it being under 46 implies a fearful mentality is dominant. Uh, the region between these two thresholds naturally signifies a neutral sentiment among the holders. Uh, until today, uh, the sector has been stuck inside this region since the last couple of uh, days of September uh, as the investors uh, had been split about the trajectory of Bitcoin. Uh, the chart below shows that the market sentiment has worsened with the latest drop in the cryptocurrency's price below the $27,000 level. After this latest drop in sentiment, the fear and greed index has hit a value of 45 meaning that investor sentiment has just entered the fear region. Um, you know, historically the market has tended to move in a way that's opposite um, to what the majority of the investors believe. Um, the likelihood of such a contrary move happening increases um, as this uh, imbalance in the sentiment rises. While the holders are leaning towards one side, fear. The imbalance is small as the fear and greed index is barely inside the territory. As such, the probability of a rebound would be pretty high right now, at least based on the sentiment. Uh, besides the core sentiments discussed before, there are also two special zones called extreme fear at or below values of 25, and extreme greed at or above values of 75. These regions are, are where the cryptocurrency is often turned around in the past. Naturally, bottoms have occurred in the former zone, while tops have formed in the latter area. If the Bitcoin fear and greed index continues declining in the coming days and reaches values near the extreme fear region, a bounce could become a real possibility. Uh, for now, one sign pointing to the chances of a rebound may be that the large investors have been buying uh, recently, uh, as an analyst on X pointed out, uh, uh, since the start of October, uh, Bitcoin investors holding between 100,000 coins uh, have purchased the combined uh, 20,000 BTC worth around $533.6 million at the current exchange rate. Uh, at the time of writing, um, Bitcoin is trading at around $26,700, uh, down almost 5% uh, in the past week. Uh,